hey lovelies welcome back to my channel gracious choma is here if this is your first time thank you for joining in it's been a long time i did a level up because i'm still learning i'm still new i'm still getting things right there are things that i've done in the past that when i look at i'll be like did i do this and i saw it as classy without knowing that it is trash in today's video i'm going to be talking about or we are going to be talking about what makes us look cheap what makes us look trashy number one wearing too little clothing to be honest i am not a party or a lover of seeing little clothing but doesn't mean that you can't wear very little clothing that are too revealing that reveal like your entire skin but the thing is, it has its occasion. Let's take for instance, you can wear netty tops or netty outfit when you go for maybe vacation, just like Ira Star wears. She wears it because she performs on stage, on social media, she has a brand, and maybe that's her logo. In real life, when she's living her normal life, she might not wear that. Or maybe it's something she wants people to always talk about so that she will keep trending in the mouths of people i feel like wearing very tiny outfit when it's not necessary that is too revealing i don't think i see it as classy you can go for birthdays outings or clubs you can wear such things it is very appropriate for such events when you're going to swim you wear bikini outfit bikini outfit can be skimpy or so revealing but you are wearing it in the right occasion so when you're wearing a very scanty outfit that is so revealing and you're wearing it in the wrong occasion i see it as being trashy it actually shows that you do not know how to dress to fit into an occasion you just want to dress because that is what is trending on the internet today let me dress like instagram <laughs> Number two, wearing very heavy, loud makeup. To be honest, makeup is another thing that goes with occasion. I feel like when you're a wedding guest or you're going for a wedding, it is actually a little bit appropriate to put on loud makeup. Because no matter any occasion that I am attending, I am not doing any loud makeup. Wear makeup that fits any occasion. But to be honest, light makeup is always flawless and beautiful. So I feel like when you put on very loud makeup, it makes you look classless. If you check white celebrities like Rihanna, Beyonce, sometimes you might even be asking yourself if they applied any makeup at all. You will never see them putting on huge cake of foundation. You won't see them applying so much concealer. They don't really do that loud makeup and they look so classy. Number three, another thing that can make you look tacky, cheap is an unkempt hair your hair shouldn't look tacky you don't need to buy the most expensive hair in the market if you buy the most expensive hair in the market if you still do not take care of it and just wear it anyhow you will still look tacky and trashy if you have wigs make sure you take care of them you maintain them make sure you air them sometimes make sure that you wipe dust off them if you are always exposing it to dust make sure if it's a straight hair you can always try to stretch it once in a while maybe once in a month if it's the hair that you wear often you can take it to the hair laundry and revamp it when you have braids on and one month plus you sweat dust to beat it sun will shine on it rain will hit on it and you still have it on your head no you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to be treating it at least depending the time you loosen it even if it's your virgin or your natural hair you're supposed to keep it clean you're supposed to keep it tidy so when you have unkept hair you look trashy, you look tacky, and you look so cheap. So if you want to look elegant, classy, spend some time on your hair. You don't need money to do all this. Number four, draggy nails. That's one thing that is trending on the internet recently. You see Niniola, she'll have a very long nail. You see Cardi B, she'll have very long nails. Because you're seeing it on social media and you're seeing celebrities with it, doesn't mean that you need to use it to show that yes you are in their level or you are in their class or you can attain their class i like long nails too but there are nails that are draggy long nails very long the one kadi b faces kadi b is kadi b she's a celebrity she's an artist if she decides to wear trousers on her hair today it is seen as classic you're not supposed to be copying that you're supposed to be just following the normal thing that is okay with you that you're comfortable with except it's a signature for your brand 
you might not look cheap to me but you will look tacky and unkempt to me i fix long nails too but i'll call the long nail like this average and one thing with nails again is the nail color red blue green yellow like you have green here you have yellow here you have red here you have purple here you have pink here five different colors in one hand it looks really really cheap you know one thing i hate this one should be my number one we are in fake designers whenever i want to buy clothes shoes bags and i see those prints i don't buy no matter how much you're selling it because i know it is fake if i want to buy it i'll go to their website and i'll buy it buy original now nah, that makes you look so cheap so if you cannot afford the original please do not buy those prints you rather buy white plain white polo plain black polo without any writing on top than writing Dolce and Gabbana Versace when you know it is fake do you know that having a messy and cluttered home can be perceived as being tacky being cheap no matter how big or massive your home is if you can't keep it clean then you're not even close to being classy you still look untidy you still look unkempt you still look tacky you are going to be seen as cheap your house should be neatly kept i know that your house is not something that people see out there you might not be someone that creates content on social media and show your house but within you you are looking cheap even if even when no one sees it even if you're doing nine to five even if you wake up by five or four to go to work the next morning there are little things you can do to just arrange keep it in order if your house is dirty then you're not even you're dirty too Another one is not taking care of personal hygiene. Of course, this one is just typical pig. I started changing my lifestyle. I've learned a lot of things and it has really helped me to achieve so many things. Your personal hygiene, like you don't even brush your teeth twice a day. You have bad breath, body odor, mouth odor. You have this particular bad scent. Your clothes are not well arranged or cleaned. Like there are some personal hygienes you need to take seriously. And if you don't do those things, you're going to look messy, you're going to look tacky, you're going to look so cheap. In fact, even a small child will look at you and know that you're cheap. Another one is having bad manners. Now, let's talk about character because it's not just all we put in our body, but what you have inside you. A lot of us have bad manners and maybe you see yourself in an occasion and you're shouting at, or you see yourself in a restaurant and you're shouting at the person that is serving you. If the person messes up, there are nice classy ways to handle it than just shouting out of the blues and the person you came there with will even be ashamed for you on his or her own behalf you treat people with kindness there's a way you talk you don't just talk anyhow another one is not having any goals why won't you have goals even dangote still have goals if you want to succeed in life or if you want to succeed in in so many things you give yourself targets you set goals for yourself that will help you to become a better person in life when you don't have goals and someone asks you you don't even know what to say oh my, you look cheap because if you want to keep making it and succeeding in things not just about making money even in building yourself someone will see you as someone that is rich even if you don't have physical cash in your account but you have something up there and you know where you're heading to another thing that will make you look cheap is bleaching when you think you want to bleach and you want to look lighter you will look so cheap because your leg will look like fried plantain while your body will look like popo override popo whenever someone just looks at your skin they will just be like jeez this person is dirty this person is cheap this person looks trashy please don't mind that dog that is barking so these are all the qualities or will i say all the things that me i perceive as being cheap when you do these things I mentioned, when I see you, I feel like you're cheap. To me, this is just my own professional opinion. I know that some of these things doesn't matter to some people, but to me, these are the things that are guiding me and guiding my principles and working on myself to be more classy, learning more things. I feel these things has really helped me a lot and yeah and i hope you find this video helpful subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed share this video like my video leave a comment down there below in the comment section tell me what you think makes someone look cheap that i didn't mention or what you do not agree with that i said i'm going to reply to all your comments i'm going to see you next time in my next video Bye bye